Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel today. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and we are going to be doing the weekly reading for our lovely Aries here. This is going to be for the week of December 25th through December 20, December 31st. This is your last week of 2023. It's going to be our last time to put everything together before the new year starts, to prepare, to have fun with your family. And let's go ahead and get started. So for December 25th, Aries, we have our Ace of Pentacles in reverse here. So something on December 25th um, leaves you in this place of limbo with accepting a new job opportunity or um, something to do with your finances. Pentacles are related to finances, stuff that are, is in our physical, material world. Um, so Ace of Pentacles, you know, Aries, maybe you feel a little unfulfilled with your, you know, holiday gifts, whatever holiday you celebrate, whether it's Christmas or another holiday during this time of year. Second day, December 26th, Tuesday, we have the Death card in reverse. So some of you are having trouble letting go of the ending of an event. And especially with this card here, right after the Ace of Pentacles, it's interesting to me to see this right after here with both of these in the reverse. I feel like they're both connected to each other. Um, so something about this opportunity or um, event financially leaves you um, unable to let go of it. You might be clinging too tight to something that seemed like a good idea at the time. You accepted a job opportunity that turned out not to be the right one for you and you're having difficulty letting it go. Um, the death card is not just about experiencing, you know, death in life, you know, it's not just a actual death. It's more of a metaphorical death. Um, so Wednesday we have the High Priestess here. Let's bring that a little bit closer so that you can see it. The High Priestess. So this is tapping into your intuition. Wednesday is going to be the time where you really start to contemplate and connect with your intuition about the events that you experience on Monday and Tuesday. This is going to be your time to really connect with what it is that you really want um, and what your higher self is trying to communicate to you. Uh, the High Priestess is not just listening to your intuition, but also being a person that listens to their intuition and understands how to apply that. Um, it's not just listening. Listening is only half of the battle. The application of your intuition, the application of this knowledge that you experience as the high priestess, because the high priestess is considered to be like the highest authority. This is someone who got to where they are through knowledge, practice, and experience. And so Wednesday, you're putting that experience, your knowledge, and your intuition into practice. All right, Thursday, we have the lovers. I always love to see this card come through. This is a really good sign that you're following and connecting with your intuition. The Lovers is not just about relationships, although it definitely can be. The Lovers card is also about connecting with your higher power and connecting with something that is equal to you. You're not just settling for something that's less than what you deserve. You're, you're going for what it is that is important to you and something that gives just as much as you give to it. These two, in this card it's flamingos, but in other cards it's people or... These two objects here, these two flamingos, are on equal levels. They're not one above the other. One is not, you know, putting in more effort than what you're getting out. So this, this shows equality in what your endeavor is and it shows that Listening to your intuition on that Wednesday is going to lead you to this fulfillment and equality that you experience on Thursday. Then Friday we have the Judgment card. So you guys are getting a lot, Aries, you are getting a lot of major arcana cards. And so Aries, this is a really transformative time for you. This is a time where you're really dealing with some major themes here in your life. When you hear judgment, you think like judging other people. It's not what this card is about. This card traditionally represents the Christian version of Judgment Day in the Book of Revelations, 
when the dead are called to rise from their graves and basically transforming life into something that was dead. And with that death card, this is you resurrecting a new opportunity. This is you resurrecting what it is that your intuition is telling you to go forward and move into. This is especially after, I mean, you have a beautiful progression here from, you know, the high priestess with your intuition to the lovers with your heart intuition, essentially, to judgment, which is um, taking that, you see in this picture, there's mirrors here, and it's taking and transforming that energy and putting it into the proper place of your life. You're resurrecting this death that you're, you know, letting go of, this thing that you're letting go of, you're resurrecting a new opportunity into being, into fruition from this. So let's see, Saturday the 30th. This is the Two of Cups in reverse. So with this card, I would suggest that you be a little bit cautious about uh, your relationships at this time. This has to deal with um, discord within your relationships or uh, miscommunication, disharmony. So just be really careful on this Saturday that you're not saying things that you don't mean and that you're doing your best to be cautious about how you're approaching people and situations in your life and be sure that you're meeting them with proper intentions that you're meeting this person or this opportunity with the uh with the attention that it deserves in the upright this is a card about finding um partnership it's actually kind of a mirror of the lovers here um you can see that there's you know two beings interconnected. These ones are connected in, you know, love, but these ones are connected through the mind and they think alike. So uh, just be careful with this being in reverse. This is you kind of butting heads with people or having a tendency to not see eye to eye on some things. So just be careful about that going in on Saturday. And Sunday, the last day of 2023 for you, Aries. We have the Princess of Pentacles in reverse. And this is really, I think it's lovely because you started your week off with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And if you kind of look at it, it's like a, <laughs> it's like a uh, extension of the hand from the Princess of Pentacles here. So this hand that's holding this opportunity or this, this growth, this material thing is what the princess here is holding. In this deck, this is shown as a princess. This is the equivalent of the Page of Pentacles in this deck. With the Princess of Pentacles, this is about putting in work towards an opportunity. Moving into 2024, you're being asked to put in work and essentially sow your seeds. You're being asked to put in work right now for a growth and opportunity in the future. In the upright, you see that this person is holding this ball of light here and they're transversing this you know world or field however it is that you choose to view it transversing this with this opportunity to light their path and light their way this card is about the longer journey ahead it's not necessarily just about what you have in this moment almost like a like a seed that you're planting right this little seed that you start out with that you have to nurture and grow as it moves into opportunity you're you know kind of moving in from 2023 to 2024 with, with this need to double down on your commitments, revamp your inspirations. This card calls for you to put in a lot of hard work and there's a lot of work coming in ahead of you. And with this card being in reverse, I feel like this is saying that you are kind of opposed to this work that's having to come in. Um, you're kind of in a resistance point of view with it. You're not um, whether it is that you don't have the mental or physical energy capacity to put in this work or you're just not sure where to start, um, this is the, the starting point of needing to put in this work and, and needing to do these things and not necessarily being um, in a place to properly plant and cultivate your new dreams, your ideas, these opportunities, these, you know, pentacles that you're holding. So anyway, thank you, Aries, for tuning in to the video today. The last week of 2023 is looking like a pretty good growth week for you, mentally, physically, emotionally. So um, I hope you have a great year and thank you for being here.